Hey guys, Sandy here. Welcome back to the channel. Today is Mixed Media Mayhem Day, and I am also still playing with my never ending kit. So for mixed media mayhem, we're supposed to use rub ons, a stencil and spray ink. So I got to pick out my photos, got to pick out my mixed media stuff. And then I have my kit. So let's see what I can do. All right, guys. So I have my Tim Holtz uh, mixed media thing that's supposed to go on top of your glass mat. Uh, but I haven't cleaned the glass mat. So it's just sitting on top of here. Um, I'm taking some white modeling paste and I'm going through this stencil. So this was the stencil of the month um, from way back in March, 2022. Uh, and it is um, a round stencil, obviously. And I figured it would go well for uh, this project. Now, to be fair, this modeling paste is getting a little thick, right? Like it's it's losing its moisture, it's, it's, uh, it's dehydrating. So it is a little bit harder to work through the stencil than a nice new jug would be. So uh, take that and with a grain of salt and then see how I just flick something off the stencil right there. There was a big hard hunk there that I had to uh, pull away. Now, when I finished with this, did I throw that modeling paste away? No, I did not. Because I'm like, I can use it again. I can get at least two more, two more projects out of this. How funny is it that I want to save the modeling paste like that, but when it comes to paper, I'm like, ah, recycle. I guess it's because it's easier to recycle paper than it is modeling paste. I think uh, that's how I'm gonna justify it, you guys. That's how I'm gonna justify it. Okay, so I'm going to peel this up and then it's gonna leave this really beautiful design on the paper. Now I did just wipe that mixed media mat up with a paper towel and it came up just fine. Uh, these are the ink sprays that I'm using. I'm using a couple different um, mists from Brutus Monroe. I've got Ornament Gold, I've got Pearl White, and I've also got Magenta Sparkle. Now you might be going, what the heck are you even doing right now? This looks like some sort of poor graffiti gone wrong. And um, the only thing I'm doing is putting this on here so I can get like a modeled effect on my cardstock. So I'm going to grab a paper towel and I am basically going to pounce all over this. So every time I do something like this, this reminds me of back in the day when you used to faux finish your paint on your walls. Now I had the absolute best faux finished uh, walls and wallpaper and the most beautiful um, bedroom ensemble like it was just soft and beautiful and romantic and I've never been able to find another comforter set that gives me that soft beautiful romantic feeling as that one did um, I'm always on the lookout for it always um, but you know I don't want a romantical bedroom all the time right now it is um, just very clean linens right now so anyway um, I am going to uh, mat my photo this says Auf Wiedersehen on it, which means goodbye. And I have this uh, pre-cut cut file, this love heart um, from my shop, from the Scrapping Refl Reflections shop. Um, and then I am going to glue it right on top of the photo, right? Like this isn't an epic photo, guys. It's just not. So I'm not worried about gluing on top of it. If this was an epic photo or, you know, something that was super important that I don't want anything happening to it while I'm alive. I would not do that. Um, but like I said, not, not really concerned with this one. So this is going to kind of live right here in the center where I have uh, this uh, kind of design going on right here. I am going to add another little bit of black to it because I feel like there needs to be a little bit more. So I'm going to kind of offset uh, that photo mat. Going to adhere the back with my ATG, slap it down there on the center, and then I am going to just use a piece of white cardstock uh, to build my page on top of it. Now, um, I do have a couple of different options. Um, a couple of different, literally a couple options. I start at one direction on the layout, took photos, was like, you know what, I think I like it another way. And then there's a side-by-side -side on the last um, 
frame. So let me know which one you guys like the best. Do you like the over or the under the best? Now here are my rub-ons and you guys, these are making memories rub-ons. And these bad boys are from 2004 and they are uh, called Circus Extra Large Meadow Uppercase, 239 characters, acid and lignin free, includes an applicator stick, and it says versatile rub-on letters that adhere to paper, fabric, or virtually any surface. And I was a little bit afraid that um, these were bad because I have, a, I, have a, I have a good handful of these Making Memories rub-ons. And they're not. They're not bad at all. They go on beautifully. It looks great. Um, now, I will say I did think about put, putting Auf Wiedersehen um, across this right here. But ultimately, I decided not to. I just decided to go with goodbye because obviously goodbye and Auf Wiedersehen, very very similar sentiments. You know what I'm saying? Um, so obviously this will be the last page in the album. Um, and it's not going to be embellished a whole heck of a lot, you guys. Like there, there's the mixed media bit and then there's going to be um, some fabric-y bits and that's going to be it. Uh, I don't feel the need to embellish this one heavily. Um, and I feel like so far my layouts um, are lightly embellished mediumly embellished and heavily embellished, right? Like I'm running the gambit um, because the colors are very similar because I'm working for th through the kit, right? Um, so the level of decoration and the level of lump on the layouts uh, will definitely change. So I got the goodbye down there. Now I did write out the word goodbye on a scrap piece of paper. Um, just so that I could find the center letter. Now, you might be thinking, I can do that in my head. You know, most of the times I can do it in my head too, but there's always that one time where you're like, yeah, I know what I'm doing, and you screw it up, and I just didn't want to screw it up. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? All right, so I'm going to center this here on the white cardstock, and I think I could have left this here like this, and maybe put um, a ribbon or something down the edge between the colorful bits and uh, the white cardstock, and would have called this layout good, right? Like I think that would have been that would have been good. Um, but instead, I'm using that modeled. Um, what is this? That modeled uh, shoot cardstock. Wow, your girl couldn't even think of the word for cardstock. Um, I'm using that, and. I am going to tear it and, and, and place it over top. Now, I am literally tearing apart this layout one more time while I'm talking to you guys because I am switching it up. Oh, uh, yeah, I definitely like this much better than either one of the options that you're going to see at the end screen. So it's fine. Um, you guys, it's totally fine. All right, so this is how I had it, right? Like, I have the uh, cardstock going over top of it. I envisioned this um, to go this way. I thought it would be great. Eh, I'm not crazy about it. So um, after I take pictures, oh, I got to trim off the edge because, you know, my 12 by 12 papers aren't all the same 12 by 12. Um, I decide to tuck the, um, the cardstock bit underneath, right? So it's tucked underneath. So it's still um, a straight line where the colored bits are. And I'm like, this is better. And then as I am doing this voiceover and watching myself do this, um, I change it again. I am taking this uh, ribbon right here and it is going to go on the outside edges of the 12 by 12 paper, right? It's good on that modeled cardstock that we made. I do, you know, try to see if I want to use black or whatever, but I don't. Um, so now what I have done is um, taken my modeled cardstock, tucked it underneath of that straight line um, from the kind of starburst circular paper here. Um, and then, as you can see, I'm putting it on the outside edges. And then while I'm talking to you guys, I get the bright idea to put the lacy ribbon bit on the hard edge, on the hard straight edge, 
So it is facing the other direction um, where the, the wonky side, the, the decorative side is facing to the edge of the layout. Why did I not think of this before? Because I'm looking at this and I'm thinking, I'm not liking this this much, right? Like, I'm like, this is not my favorite. I really love the center part. I really love the way the cardstock looks. Um, it's, it's a little, it's a little shiny in the video because of the um, overhead lights that I have um, that are um, beaten down on it, right? But it's, it's not um, like that if you're just looking at it in, in normal light. And then I'm like, ooh, I really like how this Oh My Heart and Metal Tag go together, but not on this layout. So I, I toss that off to the side so that I can use it on a different layout. And I'm looking around and I'm like, do I really want to add anything to this? And I'm like, no, I'm going to leave it the way it is. It's good enough. I'm not exactly 100% sure on it, but you know, eh, eh. So I will, I will put in a photo of the final, final layout. Let me know in the comments down below if you agree if that is the best version. All right, guys, thanks so much for watching. Check out the Mixed Media Mayhem Facebook group, and I will see you guys again real soon for another video.